Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ for a few. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any kind of difficulty. As you see today, we are using uh, StreamYard uh, program, uh, which is, uh, you know, some of you keep requesting. So we will give it a try from time to time. Uh, today, our topic, uh, first tell me how is my microphone, you know? Is the sound good? Let me know, please, if you have any problem. Today, our topic is very important, actually, and it's going to show us, and we can use this uh, as a proof to prove if Islam is really from, uh, you know, from 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 a true God or not. Uh, Muslims they say things, you know, they claim things, but how truthful those things are, you know, how really truthful Islam when Muslims they claim about anything they have. Uh, you know, Islam supposedly present uh, a solution, and this is supposedly what uh, you know God He do right. Supposedly He help a human being uh, to have a better life. And then we look and we study and we try to find out if really what Islam provide is a better life, um, or a mockery of life, or a mockery of you as a human being. So imagine you have you are married. God forbid, uh, you come home one day and you find your wife in the bed with somebody. Or the opposite, or a man, a woman, she come home, she find uh, the husband uh, with other wife, other women. So what you will do exactly, you know, what, uh, what is the solution? Uh, Islam come with a solution. And the second you uh, check out, the solution which Muhammad he provide, you will notice how stupid Islam is. And today we will give you an example of such a thing. Uh, until now, I don't see anyone. Is the sound is good? Sound is good. Okay. Uh, if we go on the, to the hadith, let me show you such, uh, such a story. A man, he come to Muhammad. And he said to him, let me put the hadith for you in the screen so you can see what exactly I'm talking about. And then, you know, you will see how... Uh, I challenge actually any Muslim to say he agree with this, you know. I mean, how in the world you can agree? Uh, Islam is really stupid, and Islam is extremely... Islam is a stupidity itself. Uh, but let us see what the Muslim they will say in the comment. Feel free if you are a Mohammedan. Uh, to share with us your comment and what you like to say to us. Let us zoom in more in the text so you guys can see it better. I think the text now is clear. So it says here, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, that Sa'ad, a person, his name uh, Sa'ad Ibn Abada, he said to the Messenger of Allah, okay, so are you saying if I find my wife with a man, I say, please wait for me until I bring witnesses. <laughs> what Muhammad he said? <laughs> he said yes. <laughs> and here you notice, you know, how in the world this idiot Muhammad he function? Do you see the question? Hey Muslim, did you see the question? The question is, you enter the bedroom, you find your wife with a man. Now, what you say to the man? You say, hey, can you please wait? I need to go and get four witnesses. And this is exactly what this man is saying to Muhammad. Are you saying, I need to go and I will tell the guy before I leave, can you please wait until I get some witnesses? Muhammad is answering seriously. He's not, this is not a joke. This is a religion. You know, this is like the law of God, supposedly. Muhammad, he said yes. And this is why you don't find Muslim men accusing their wives of cheating. Because how they can do that? You go inside the, the husband, you know, the, your wife, house. You find a man in the, whatever he's doing with your wife. And, uh, you know, the wife, she will say to you, get lost, what you can do about it, go and find four witnesses, and when you find them, come back. <laughs> so, but, uh, but look here, we have to be honest. 
you can ask the other Muslim guy because he is honest. Can you please promise me to stay here if in the wife, which is your wife supposedly, until I go and find some witnesses, please? The one who is sleeping with your wife, so she's sure, come on, man, we are friends. Hello? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what is going to hurt if I stay with her in the bed for another 30 minutes? Take your time. And then this Abdul, he starts going around to his neighbors, asking maybe he can get four witnesses. And maybe some of them, they don't want to involve in such, a, such an issue. And here the issue of four witnesses. That is a story by itself, actually. We will make a special video about it because we will show you how Muhammad, the, the, the hypocrite, he made the four witnesses because they accused his wife that she is a cheating on him. Because she is a cheating. So he changed the law from, you know, in Islam you can get somebody killed if you have two witnesses. Like somebody, two people saw a person killing somebody. That's it, two person. So why here for? Because in the case of Muhammad's wife, there was a three witnesses and one woman, which means there are four. So Muhammad, he changed the law. He made women are not accepted to be a witness. Two women equal to one man, and they are only allowed to witness in the case of borrowing money. Nothing to do with capital punishment, which means any serious crime, uh, women, they cannot be witnesses, even if there's a million women. So in order for Muhammad to cover what happened to his wife, Aisha, when she went with Safwan, a guy, he is young, and Muhammad, and wife Aisha, she is young, she's a teenage. And, you know, they spend the night together. And the one who accused her, actually, is one of the most important Muslims in the history of Islam, Hassan ibn Sabit, which is the poet man of the Prophet. He is the one who defends the Prophet by making poetry. Uh, suddenly, uh, those people who accuse the wife of Muhammad, uh, they, you know, uh, they are criminals and bad people. We have a Muhammad in here saying, without lies, the Christianity dies. Okay, that's a nice thing, Mr. Uh, uh, without lies. Actually, I'm going to put your comment there so people will learn from you. Or not you, hold on. Here we go, this one. Uh, this text keep moving. I can't even chase him with this thing. Hold on, I need to freeze the text. Okay. We have a guy here who says, I am, it's me, I am still here. Hey. I think you are Jibreel, because Jibreel, he could not enter the house of your prophet because there was a puppy. Now, as long as you are talking about lies, can you explain to us, your majesty, what kind of a prophet and what kind of an angel? And you are the one who's talking about lies. How Islam survive after the puppy and before the puppy. <laughs> you know, when a Muslim, he talk about lies. I mean, your prophet, he stopped receiving inspiration because of a puppy. And the prophet, he did not enter the house because there was a puppy and the puppy is under the bed of your prophet. An angel can destroy the world with 600 wings and yet he have a puppy phobia. Hmm? So when you talk about lies, you know, let us look around. A prophet, he went to the seven sky and there's no witnesses. A prophet, he went around the world and there's no witnesses. I mean, this guy is, you know, you know. And look, now he changed the topic. You see the Muslims, to cover their shame, we are talking about his wife. She is in the bed. She is being effed by a new man, strange man. And now this Abdul is worried about one plus one plus one is equal to what? I will tell you. One man with your wife, plus another man with your wife from the other side, plus a, a man in the top of your wife, three men are doing your wife, still you cannot get proofs. How you can get, what is the solution? Three men with your wife, and you see them doing what they are doing to your wife. One plus one plus one. Three, doing your wife. Can you tell me how you can fix the problem? Look what happened. This is a true story. We are not making things up. A man, he said to the prophet, should I go and ask for those guys, the three guys, one plus one plus one, can you please wait for me until I bring witnesses? Your prophet said yes. So my friend, you are trying to change the topic because you are ashamed of your stupidity. Secondly, you must believe in Allah is one, but 
because Allah, he said he is one, supposedly. If Allah, he says he is four, you will believe he's four. You are just a hypocrite, Abdul. Why you don't make fun of Christianity when the Christian, they say that Jesus is born of a virgin? Why? Because the Quran says so. If it's not in the Quran, you will make fun of us. Hypocrite like your prophet. However, just leave your address and I will send the three guys to sleep with your wife. And please, you have to pay them in order to stay to get witnesses. So, as you see, the Muslims, uh, the second you start showing them how stupid the religion is, they change the topic in the speed of light. Suddenly, Christianity is not convincing because of Trinity. But Trinity is not one plus one plus one. Who is the first one? Who is the second one? Who is the third one? And how is that as a plus? This is how stupid this religion is. It's your God who keeps saying we, yet he is I. And we ask the Muslims, is Allah is one or many? They say, no, he's one, but he say we because it's more majestic. That's mean Allah, he find it embarrassment for him to be one he liked to be we so if Allah he used the word we just to make himself look majestic that's mean <laughs> being one is not good for him he don't feel confident and he don't feel secure so he have to use we which is a fake we in order to feel better I mean what kind of a God does God is obviously he is mentally ill he is not a stable he tried to use words in order to level himself up because if Allah is God what the word we will do? Who, who care? We, I, I mean, just say I, man. You are a, you are the God, supposedly. So the Muslims, when they try to change the topic, here we go, three men doing his wife. And now the guy, he will ask the men, what about the wife? What if, what if the wife left? Okay, you ask the man to stay. You know, he is a boom, boom, your wife. You ask him, please, can you stay? Because the prophet says, I have to get four witnesses. Let us say the man, he agreed. He's an idiot. What if the wife, she put off her panty? That's it. And not only that, by the way, the Muslims who come to witness, they have to see the private part of the man going in and out like the ink well and the pen. Yeah, exactly. But we, 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 and yet they say Allah is one. If we go right now in the Quran, we will find... That this God, Mr. Mr. God, we call him Mr. Allah. Hmm? He is so smart, you know, like he is a one God. But in the same sentence, he cannot live without the word we. Let us see. Look at this. Just for a laugh. Hmm? This is the God who the Muslim they praise. They say he is a one God, and he is not one plus one plus one. But this one God, he keeps saying he is the best of the creators. The second we ask the Abdul, well, how many creators there is? They say there's only one. Well, don't you think this is stupid to say he is the best of the creators if there's no other creators? This is a lie. And this is take us back to when this guy, he said, uh, he said, like, he said, Christianity without lies. The fact Islam without lies, is, you know, dies because... This is a lie. How you can be the best of the creators when you are the only creator? Imagine you go, you are in a classroom and you are the only one uh, in the classroom. And then you go to your mom and you say, mom, do you know? She said, what, honey, what? He said, I am the number one student in the classroom. I am the best student. But this is a lie. You are the only student in the classroom. It's a private classroom for you only. So how you are the best student? It's a lie. So here we ask the Muslims, is Allah lying, exaggerating? And when your God, he asks you for four witnesses, who is the witness for him to be a creator? I mean, here you see another stupidity. Okay, the Muslims, they say Allah is the creator, but what is the proof that Allah, he can create anything? The only witness is Muhammad, and Muhammad never have a proof of anything. You see, Jesus, according to the Quran, he created from the mother bird. Wonderful. So Jesus is a creator. Jesus, there's many, many miracles. And there's thousands of witnesses. So we do not need to ask Jesus, can you or you cannot? He can. But what is the proof that the God of Muhammad, he can do anything? It's just words. And as you see, the words themselves are proven of stupidity. Because if Allah is God, he will not say such a word. 
Do we have any Muslim have a comment about the four witnesses and you need to find a guy, you know, you, you find a guy doing your wife and then you need to ask him to stay home until you find witnesses? Do we have any Muslim? No, no, it's not fun, my friend. Listen, Mr. Rigged Election. First of all, Prophet Muhammad was elected by a billion human beings. To the point, uh, uh, Mufti Mink, he had a video, somebody of uh, if you send it to me, he says he is making fun of a joke, supposedly, about a person who converted to Islam. And he said, uh, they told him you have to do circumcision. He said, no, no, I cannot cut. They said, no, we have to cut. He said, no, 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 I cannot cut. He said, I cannot cut, you know. So he said, okay, I'm going to leave Islam. They said to him, now, if you leave Islam, we will cut your neck. So he, uh, Mufti Mink, he said, what? So he said, what kind of religion, when you enter it, they cut your penis, and when you leave, they cut your neck. But this is exactly Islam is. Islam is just a penis. They focus in the silly stuff, you know. You ask the Muslims when Muhammad was ever circumcised. There's no proof. There's no reference. There's not even a single hadith about it. There's opinion. So Muhammad and they focus on stupid things, you know. And as you see, your claim is not right about the rigged election because Muhammad, he was elected by a billion human being. All of them, they love him to death. And all of them, they offer their wives to sleep with Prophet Muhammad. Trust me. You will not find one Muslim. Hmm? He don't like to offer his wife to the Prophet so he can have boom, boom with her. They are very decent people. Yeah, Abraham, he did that with the axe. You are right. Uh, I hit the wrong person. Hold on. Uh, no, it, why does text keep moving? Yeah, here we go. Abraham, he did circumcision by an axe. Uh, but, you know, there's many proofs of that, by the way. Uh, uh, first of all, Abraham, uh, we don't want to go in details. He was really big, you know. And uh, if you put yourself in his shoes, how you can do circumcision for such a person? You know, the Muslim, they focus too much on the penis. And this is Abraham. Come on, what do you expect? You expect his penis to be like everybody? So it must be like her, her, what, her humongous, her humongous size? Like, you know, like humongous, you know? It's like, a, you know, a horse. Uh, so what do you expect Abraham will do? Come on. This is not me and you, an average human being. This is the Muslim Abraham. The Muslim Abraham is not the Jewish Abraham. So the guy, he go and buy an ads, and he cut his, uh, <clears throat> you know, and it looked like uh, Abraham was very good in aiming too. You know, very good in aiming, because if he miss, man, that would be really bad if he miss. But obviously he did not. I mean, he was very good in aiming, and like he can work as a sniper in our days now. Uh, Muhammad, he have tons of stories, and the funny, the Muslim is saying that uh, he, the guy he says that we Christianity without lies dies. But the fact is, this is this is Islam, you know, my friend. This is the yeah. what is the how Muhammad he knew this? Hey, Muslims, how Muhammad he knew this? How he got this information? Where, where, where he got it from? I mean, he he never saw Abraham. When you receive information, who is the one who told you? So we have details, which is very funny and very stupid from a, someone he claimed to be a prophet, but yet this prophet, just because they accuse his wife that she is a cheating, he changed the law and he made it four witnesses in order to prove. And the funny is, uh, if you go here in the, in the front of us, Chapter 4, verse number 15. Chapter 4, verse number 15. It says that those who accuse women that they committed illegal sexual relationship, take the evidence of four witnesses from among you against them. And if they testify, confine them, i.e. the women, uh, house until death comes, you know, blah, blah. I mean, it's just stupid. Uh, so here it says, put them in the house until they die. Later, Muhammad, he said the punishment is a stoning to death. I mean, what the heck is that? I mean, do you see, the, you see how the, how, this is God? This guy, he keeps changing law like, 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 you know, like the weather. You wake up in the morning, you find a new law. 
And then, uh, here this is supposedly not about cheating, the Muslim they will say to you. This is about lesbian. This is about lesbian. Okay? Okay. What about uh, uh, cheating? It's the same. You have to get four witnesses. All right. That's wonderful. So this is the same verse. We use it for the cheating and for the lesbian. That's wonderful. Okay. So now, uh, uh, because if you read actually here, you will see how stupid this verse is. It says, those of you women who commit illegal sexual intercourse. So the verse saying women, women, it doesn't say there is no men involvement. You see? There is no men involvement. But the most time they use it for both. But anyway, and then if you go to different verse in the Quran, uh, like this one here, Chapter 24. Oh, let's before before we go there. Chapter 24, verse number 4. And those who accuse women of cheating and produce, let me zoom in. Oh, where we go. Hold on. We jump to the front page where we went. Why we went up. Here we go. Let us go up. Here we go. And let us take the comment of So read with me here, chapter 24, verse number four. And those who accuse chest women uh, and produce not for witnesses, flog them with 80 stripes. You can go, all of you right now, and you can check the interpretation. You will see this is about the wife of Muhammad. The wife of Muhammad. Muhammad never came with such a law until his wife was accused that she was cheating. And there is four witnesses. However, there was three men and one woman. So Muhammad now he knew he knew there is uh, you know they cannot make it because there's only three men and one woman. One woman is not accepted. It's not. It's not even she is considered as a one person. So now there are three. So Muhammad he told them. He waited for a month. Do you know why he waited for a month? Imagine people they are accusing him. Everybody in town speaking about his wife sleeping around. Muhammad, he did nothing, and Allah did not send the verse. Why Allah waited a month? Anyone knows why, why they waited a month? Why Muhammad waited a month? After the, the, the incident happening. What happened? The guy, he spent the night. Uh, you know, with the Aisha. And now... Muhammad, he heard the news, everybody talking about it. He heard the accusation and he did nothing. But why he waited a month? Exactly. Muhammad, he was waiting to see if his wife, she will produce, she is going to have a baby. Because he knew that he cannot have babies, you know. So he said to himself, if I say she did not, Everybody in town knows that Muhammad, he cannot have kids. So Muhammad waited for a month to be sure that the wife, she is not having a baby. And when he discovered that that's it, she have her period, because at that time she is already, she is a teenage, uh, he decided to say she is decent. And then he come with the challenge to provide for, because now he have 30 days or more uh, trying to find out who can witness against his wife. He found that there are three men and one woman, so they cannot make it. So now he is clear that the evidence is not sufficient. So he made it four witnesses. He, he, designed, he designed the law to fit with his wife case, just to make it, to make it simple. If the, if the numbers of the witnesses was four men already, Muhammad, he will make them four with five witnesses.
This is the truth. And if you look at the Muslims here, look at the Muslim comment. We are showing them something serious, and the Muslims are, you know, if, I, if you look at this comment, you will see how stupid Islam is. Those are the one who will defend Islam. Find me one comment made by Muslims in the chat, even answering the serious accusation. All the Muslim comment, they are making fun of their own religion. They start attacking you as a person. Well, I am not a prophet. You can say whatever you want about me. Who cares? We are showing you a Quran, you idiot. You go in the bedroom, you find your wife being effed by a, a guy, and then you say to him, can you please wait? I'm going to go and find a witnesses. This is serious. This is your prophet being asked by one of the most close companion to him. He said to the prophet, are you saying, are you saying, listen, Abdul, you can, you can make a mockery as much as you want. But the mockery is you because I'm going to visit you tomorrow. And I'm going to sleep with your wife tomorrow. And then you are going to ask me, hey, CP, can you please wait? I need to go and find four witnesses. If you are saying this is not true, the hadith in front of you and this is sahih. Hmm? Do you see it? How a Muslim can prove that his wife is cheating? And this is why Muslim women, you know, in this scenario, they enjoy cheating because simply there's no way to prove it. The man, he will be, they will beat him 80 times. They will whip his, his back. So the man, there's a story actually of a guy, and we can find the hadith. He find his wife sleeping with the man. He saw her legs around his neck. Three witnesses, they come to the prophet. The first guy, he said, the prophet, he said to him, what did you see? He said, I saw, I saw him naked and his penis is going in and out. He asked the second person, what did you see? He said, I, see him, I saw him naked and I saw his penis getting in and, uh, uh, and out. He, this, the third person, the same. The last one, he said, I did not see the penis, but I saw the legs of the women around his head, around his neck, they were like ears of a donkey, and he was, you know, shaking her. You know what I'm talking about. Muhammad, he says, there's no witnesses. And what the Muslim, they say? Look, 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 look at the comment. Look at the comment of how angry they are. Christian princesses, what is that? Uh, okay, I don't know. Maybe he's talking to somebody else. Somebody here, name is a Christian princess in the chat. I don't know. Maybe he's not a Muslim. All right. Oh, he fixed it. Christian prince. No, it says Christian princes. And I'm talking to whom? Do we have somebody? Her name is a Christian princess in the chat. Hmm. Muslims. Any any Muslim have an answer? How Muslim they claim that Islam, you know, encourage decency, when you cannot even stop your wife from cheating. Now the other side. What is the law? If a man is a cheating, any Muslim can show me? Muslims, where is the law in the Quran if a man is a cheating? Look at them. Look at them. Look at this ability. Right? Uh, Christian Prince, we have your address. That's deep. Uh, my friend, if you are a man, just come. You are a potato. The one who have my address, he will not wait to tell me. You are a coward, son of Muta. What about you lose? You, you leave your address so I can go and stop by. We, we send you some people to have fun with your wife. Because as you see, you will end asking the guy sleeping with your wife, can you please stay here because I need to find for Abdul to witness? Mm. Potatoes, the religion of the potatoes.
Do we have any Muslim can say anything? Hmm? And by the way, the guy who is trying to insult or making a threat, are you sure your wife, she is not with somebody now? Hey, listen, if you want, we can provide you with four witnesses. What about we sign a contract that when you find your wife, we guarantee you, we will send you four witnesses in less than, let us say, 10 minutes to your house. Hmm. Any Abdul? Any Muslim? Turn subscription only? It's okay. Not a big deal. You know, uh, Muslim, they keep coming here. They cannot live without me. <laughs> Don't you know? You cannot. It's a must. Put yourself in their shoes. What you would do? They come here, they read, they see, they notice, they witness, and they can do nothing about it. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Well, the admin can block them. Any admin, anyone is making a spam just to block him. Maybe the admin are not doing a good job. They are sleepy. Any Muhammadan? He can answer for what kind of an answer your prophet he gave. Read carefully. Sa'd, Sa'd, Ibn Ubada, he said to the Messenger of Allah, are you thinking, what do you think if I find with my wife a man, should I go give him some time until I bring for witnesses? <laughs> Your prophet, he said yes. <laughs> and I didn't know get upset from me or from your prophet why are you muslim why are you upset as you see i'm just showing you you know what it says that's not me who is saying that this is what it does say it is in the front of your eyes those muhammad did get upset why i don't know i'm not the one who is saying this prophet are you saying if i find a guy doing doom boom to the wife i will ask him to wait for me can you, dear, please, can you continue, please, more? Like the guy is almost finished. You know, you say, come on, I'm done. You know, I'm not going to stay. You know, like your wife, she is really, she is hot. But after we are done, she is not hot no more. What about next time I come to, if your wife, I will give you the date. Hmm? So you will be waiting with four witnesses. Right now I have to go. Sorry, I'm done. This is religion. And not only you have to have four witnesses, you have to have four witnesses and they have to see the penis of the man going in and out. If they are, if they see them in the top of each other, that is not a proof of adultery, even if they are naked. Even if they are naked, I just told the story of, uh, uh, of the man, he saw, the, saw one of the witnesses, he saw the Muslim women her legs, her feet around the neck of the man. And he was saying, he was describing her feet. They were shaking, you know, and they were like ears of a donkey around his head. <laughs> you know the position. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the hadith. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Oh, I'm typing in English in the search engine. So uh, Let us see. All right, we found the hadith. Let us see if we can find it in English. 
<laughs> I mean, this this man who they call him prophet is really, really hilarious. Let us hope we can fight in English here. Oh, we cannot fight in English. But we can find it in Arabic and we can use Google Translation, no problem. And maybe you can search it yourself in English. Uh, so here as an example I will post the link for you and you, you can use Google translation and you will see the man the story I'm telling you it is there this is the book it's called Ash-Sharh Al-Kabir Abdullah ibn Rahman Abdul Rahman ibn Qudama very number 10 page number 199 and let me post the link for you and have fun and you can use Google translation let us shorten the link. So those witnesses, they saw, some of them, they saw the penis, you know, in and out, as it's required. But one of them, he did not see it. He saw, so he said what he saw from his point of view. He saw her legs around her, uh, the neck of the guy. And they were shaking like ears of a donkey because of the movement. Uh, Muhammad, he punished them. Muhammad, he punished them for doing that, for uh, you know, for what they said. It's not enough. Here we go. This is the link. I hope it's going to work. Let me know if it doesn't work. And here you ask yourself, you know, when we speak about God and God making a law, you know, there is a certain level of intelligence for you as a lawmaker, right? As a lawmaker, you have to have a certain level of intelligence. Where is the intelligence? This is the question will be. Because this is a law of God. And this God saying, well, something very stupid, something not practical, something will make anyone get away with his cheating. As simple as that. Are you saying, I will ask the guy to wait more so I can go and get witnesses. And who was the one who was going to wait? So he will be punished. And how in the world, which means even if you bring now four witnesses, if the guy, he took his private part, he heard the sound of you opening the door. Even if you have 80 witnesses, even if you have a million witnesses, and even if they are naked, they did not see the penis in and out, there is no proof of adultery. How that work? How this can be from God? Hmm? No, no, I'm not going to draw it <laughs> because that will take a lot of drawing, <laughs> drawing skills. Yeah, so I mean, the guy he saw the, you know, and then you say it's okay. Let me see if the page I send you. Uh, It has the story just to be sure because I'm reading now. Where is the, where is the story? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, here they, they are not telling all the story, but you will see it says at the end of the page uh, oh, the, uh, uh, the one in charge of the believers, uh, I saw, etc., and I saw the, he mentioned the women, and I saw her legs around his neck as if they are the ears of a, a donkey and i don't know what is behind that omar he said allahu akbar allahu akbar and then he ordered to beat him uh, for what he said because now uh, he accused but he did not see you have to get the four witnesses it's not enough the story here is not a complete story by the way yeah, so three of them, they witnessed. If you see the story, it says the three of them, they witnessed that they saw everything. So those are fine. The, f the number four, he said, I saw her legs, her feet around his neck. How many of you, of you did use a Google translation? You see, this uh, program here does not help me really to do a good job with this thing. Uh, 
But if you use Google Translation, you will see it. And you will notice the chat, you will see the Muslims are talking about the Trinity. We are showing them how stupid the religion is. You see, the, the, when a Muslim he speak about if God can be one and three in the same time, and they say this is impossible, that's because they don't have a true God, because nothing is impossible for God. Are you trying to tell God what he can be? Are you saying, Muslims, it is impossible for God to be one and three in the same time? So if you are saying so, that means you believe in a fake God, because God, the reason we call a person God, for there's nothing is impossible for him. This is why one of the description of God is the Almighty. So the Muslim, obviously, when they question how God can be three and one, they are questioning their God, not our God, because their God cannot. Do you, do you understand? Their God cannot be, for he is a fake God. Like, even when, when Allah is supposed to be speaking about him, why he don't have a son? He said, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? And who is the one questioning the ability of Allah, Allah himself? And this is a proof that Allah cannot be God. If you go in the Quran here, let us switch to Arabic. Okay, we are not switching yet. So Allah, he speaks in the Quran, he says, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? That is leg legitimate for a fig God who they are, he is not legitimate claim. Because if you are saying, how can I, or how can he, even if he don't even say I, I mean, this is stupid. If you are I and the one, and the one is talking, why keep saying, how can he? But look at the answer. He is the originator. This is Allah talking. Why he is saying he is the originator? What does that mean? Stupid language, you know? Obviously, the one who made the Quran, he keep forget to switch. He is the originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a children when he has, has no wife? In fact, in Arabic, it says sahiba, which means girlfriend. But the, the same reasoning they give is the same reasoning proved to us that Islam is false. How he is the originator of everything. Hmm? Yet he cannot have the same as what Mary can have. The God of Mary, the God of Mary, he was able to make Mary has a son without having a boyfriend. With no partner. So the God of Mary, obviously, he is not Allah. For the God of Mary, he can make a human being have a son without having a partner. But Allah himself, he cannot have a son unless he have a wife. And that will destroy all the claim of the Muhammadan about having a God. For this is an answer of somebody who is not almighty. He is all stupid. This is not an almighty answer. This is an all stupid answer. There's no limit for God, what he can do, what he cannot. So when the Muslims they speak about oneness and etc., and then we find that the God of Islam, he keeps talking about we, you know, he is the creator, he is the best of the creators. If Allah, Allah want to take a wife or a partner, he will take it from us, or us. Allah is one or many. And what us? Does Allah have a kind? He, he is from an ethnic group. So Islam is just a stupid. It's like, you know, Islam is a... You know, if you, if you watch movies about old days, like during wars and etc., you will see poor people, they have a pant, and the pant have batches to, you know, to cover the holes, right? In the old days, those batches is a kind of a shameful thing because it's showing that how poor you are. Today, today, there's a fashion, you buy a brand new pant, like Mimi Hijab, he was wearing the jeans, and the jeans have many holes in it. Hmm? So this is what the Muslims do. Try to make it a fashion. There's a lot of holes in the narrative. And now the Muslim trying to adopt a fashion designing to say this is a fashion. This is not a defect. But this is a very bad defect. It's obvious. Any Muslim have an objection? Hey Muslims, can Allah have a son without having a girlfriend? 
The answer, no. If you say yes, that's mean you are against the Quran. Right? What do you think? What about videotaping? No, it doesn't count. You have to have four witnesses. It doesn't count. You have to have four witnesses because, uh, first of all, videotaping, it can be manipulated, you know. I mean, these days, don't you see movies? You see a guy jumping from building to building. It look real. So it can, you know, videotaping is not even... Uh, you need a lot of, uh, let us say, examination, etc. And, you know, those are Muslims... They go by the book of God, not videotaping. And even if you have videotaping, how in the world you want to make the camera see the penis going in and out? That's impossible. I mean, I mean, unless unless you are making a porn movie, and then the camera is moving around the guys and zooming in, you know. If you have a camera in the ceiling or hiding camera somewhere, there's no way you can see. You can record the guy in the top of the wife, the wife in the top of him, but you cannot record the thing going in and out. You have to get it in and out, and they have to be four witnesses. Hmm? This is, you know, actually, uh, Muhammad, he said, that if you are in a, tra in a, a, tra a traveling, before you go home, you should send a messenger. You know, actually, there's a video on YouTube about a guy, uh, a sheikh, a sheikh. They ask him about the question, why the prophet, he said, that uh, uh, the man, he had to sell, send a messenger to his wife if he was uh, in trouble, that he is coming back home. Why he need to do that, you know? Uh, he said, well, okay, well, uh, the, the prophet is trying to save your ass. Imagine you come home and you find your wife with somebody. Why do you want to do that? Send somebody, knock at the door, from behind the door, tell her your husband will be here after like five hours. And this way, your honor will not be, uh, you know, shattered. You know, why you want to put yourself into suffering and just tell her that you are coming. Uh, let me see where I can find. The Muslim, they say, no, no, this is another reason. The reason because the women she need to get rid of her red uh, get ready uh, camp her hair uh, you know uh, look good for the husband okay yeah I can tell look good hmm. yeah let's see Yeah, I'll try to find this uh, hadith. But as you see, you know, this is the level of Muhammad, and it's very, very uh, trashy, and this is God talking. Until now, sadly, not even a single Muslim, he gave us an answer. Is it logical? Muslims, is it logical that you, what your prophets say to the man who ask him, should I go and tell the man who is effing the wife, your wife, can you please stay until I find four witnesses? Is that logical? Is that will solve the problem? Uh, Abdullah Rafiut is Abdullah Potato. We called him last time and the coward, he declined my call. Watched the video previously, he's just a kid like your prophet. Is that correct, guys? Last time, this guy, he complained a lot. He is a potato, he's a coward, he's a liar. 
We called him live on air and we recorded the call. He declined my call. So the guy, he texts me when I am not online and he want to call me when I am not online. And everybody knows I am not online. That's mean I am not online. Cowards. As usual. And you know, he can refute us. Here we go. Go ahead. Go ahead. The hate in the front of you. Do your best. All of you can refute me. You enter the bedroom, you find your wife being effed with a stranger. You told the prophet, Prophet, are you saying I should ask the man to wait for some time? Let him do more, if in her, and then I say, please don't leave. And then I will find for witnesses, the prophet said yes. Do you see it? I refute it. Go ahead. Actually, after we finish, you will see the Muslim comment. They speak about everything except this thing. Always they are like this. They switch to speak about the Trinity. All oh, Muslims, they want to debate about Trinity. My friend, we don't care if you believe in the Trinity or not. You ought to be a hypocrite. You believe that your God is what he is just because your prophets say he is. But if you think about the question itself, the same question you're challenging how God can be one and three, that's mean you don't believe in a true God because God, he can. That's why he's God. If you are saying it's impossible for God to be one and three or one and one, one and a billion, if you want, that's mean you are really, you don't know what God means. God is, God is a word given for somebody. Nothing is impossible for him. And obviously the Muslims, they never met, they never heard of such a God because their God cannot. There's many things their God cannot do. Their God could not provide Muhammad with miracles. The Quran keeps saying that. The excuse is, oh, uh, you know, a former generation, they refuse to believe in them. But this is false. Here we go. There's billions of Christians. They believe in every miracle written in the, you know, by the prophets. We believe. We just believe, you know. So this is an excuse. Any Mohammedan have a comment? Didn't Muhammad he copy praying from Ethiopian? I believe everything Muhammad he have is, is a copy from somebody. And uh, Muhammad he went to Ethiopia, right? In the beginning of his uh, journey as a Muslim, claiming to be a prophet. So it's possible he saw the Ethiopian how they pray. Why not? And he lived between the Jews, you know. And we know the hadith where a Jewish guy was walking by and he said to Muhammad, this is how we do it, you remember? So Muhammad, he says, Khalifuhum, act differently. Uh, you know, and this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because a Jewish man walking by, the messenger was a stand. It says he used to stand up for a funeral until the crops were placed in the grave. A learned Jews, look at the word, learned Jews, hmm? a rabbi. This is not just a Jew. This is a rabbi. He walked by and he said, this is how we do it. That's all. What Muhammad did? Muhammad right away, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. Okay, ask yourself now. If Muhammad is coming from God, why and how fast he changed the way he practiced his prayer in the time of funeral? So what if the guy, he said, this how we do it. Don't the Muslims claim that they are coming from Abraham too? But because Muhammad, he noticed that the Jews, they got him busted. He feel guilty. Oh, they got me. They know I'm copying them. This is how we do it. So what he did? Suddenly, in the speed of light, he changed the way he pray in the funeral, and he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. If Muhammad is a prophet praying, 
was he praying as God told him or he is just copying others? If God told him, Muhammad will never change the way he's praying, correct? You cannot do it. You don't have authority. And now you see in, in the speed of light, right away, he says, sit down, sit down. Act differently. It's not like later he received inspiration from God, said to him, don't do it like them, you know? And if, if, he, if, the, if, if Allah, he told him, don't do it like them, why? If the Jews are wrong, so why Muhammad was doing it like the Jews? Why Allah did not say that to him until the Jew walked by? Tons of proofs that Muhammad is a fraud and there is no way this is, can be from God. You know, you change the way you pray just because a person, he said this, uh, what if he's lying? He said, we have, this is how we do it. You know, the Muslim always, they accuse the Jews to be a bunch of liars and they are evil. So how Muhammad, he knew, really, he trusts that the Jews, they do this. Because he knew. They are right. They got him busted. Uh, and there is no way he will change the prayer. If, if, if this is a prayer coming from God, taught to him by God, then you don't change it. It doesn't matter what people say. And you have no authority to change it. What about the satanic verses? Here we go, you know, Salman Rushdie, his book now is number one sales in the sales in Amazon and around the world. The Muslims always, they do the stupid things. You know, they think they can stop somebody, even if you kill the guy. I mean, the guy is 75 years old. The book is written and that's it. You cannot, you see, just, they, don't, they don't have even a brain. They are so stupid. The guy, he wrote the book, is too late. He is he's exist, not exist. I don't want to change anything. <laughs> like me, I have now four books. And soon I will, I will publish maybe the, the number five. So uh, you kill me, but my books will stay forever and they will become actually more famous. They're trying to cover the poo, poo you know, with, of their profit by killing the guy. But the fact what they do is the opposite. They are suffering from, you know, uh, 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 the phobia of how we, they don't ask themselves, okay, the guy he wrote a book, wrote a, write a book against what he said, prove him wrong. But how you can prove him wrong? The Quran says Muhammad received certain verses and Allah will take it off. So why they upset? Why they get upset? Muslims are a bunch of ignorant. They do not know. I never met a Muslim, he knows his religion. And the one who knows, he lie best. The Quran says Allah will delete Allah will delete whatever shaitan he throws. So it's, the Quran says that Allah will delete whatever shaitan throw in his revelation. So the guy, he did not make things up. And this is written in the Quran, in the books of interpretation, in the hadith. He received satanic verses. I mean, name one thing about this man, Muhammad, is right. He, uh, he was bewitched. <clears throat> he received satanic verses. He changed his prayer. He changed his law uh, in the speed of light, just because somebody complained about it. <clears throat> you know, uh, he's moody. The God moody, you know. Every morning he have a new law, and he delete the previous law. And... Uh, uh, if Muhammad was bewitched and the Muslims agree, how we can trust that this guy is really receiving from God? This guy, he imagined things. Bewitched, usually, is a description for somebody. He is suffering from illusion. You know, he cannot be a trustworthy. When I was in the army, there was a guy, you know, you go to your papers. There was a guy waiting in the room to get the papers. I said, oh, so you finish your service? He said, no, actually, they kicked me out. And I think it's called chapter 17. I said, what, what, why did they kick you out? What you did? He said, I did not do anything, but I hear voices. I imagine things. So they decide to kick him out because this guy, he might shoot. You know, he might shoot because he hears things. He see things. Nobody see. He might shoot his friends in the army. So he was not qualified. He was disqualified from the service. Muhammad, how he can be qualified if he was bewitched 
Any Muslim can tell us. What is the qualification to be a prophet? If the hadith says that he imagined himself having doing something, in fact, he never did. That alone is enough to destroy any qualification for anyone in any job. You are a waiter or waitress. In the restaurant, they say, why you did not send the dishes for this table? They say, oh, I, I did. You are imagining. Who can? You are a postman. You know, I delivered the mail. You, know, you did not. He imagined. Now we have a, something serious here. This guy is a prophet. So is he imagining that he received Quran? And how many verses from Satan he received during this time? Because the Muslims believe in black magic and they believe in black magic is satanic. That's mean Satan, he has full control of you. So how much Quran Muhammad he received during the time he was under the control of the of, of shaitan? So, you, you know, the, you say to the Muslim, your prophet controlled by shaitan, they get upset, but it's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. He receives satanic verses. He was bewitched. And the one is saying that this is not Christians, this is not the Jews. Do you see it? This is not the Christian saying that. So you show them what it's in their book, they get upset and they get so angry. Well, get your you know, get angry as much as you can, but that will not fix it. People are laughing at your prophet. Even your prophet, his sex was fake. I mean, look how bad the situation is. I remember when a Muslim he said to me. That the prophet, yes, but the prophet took his bewitched, it took him one year because the a Jewish guy he made it 12 knots for him, and it took Allah. Took Allah. Look at the, look at the knowledge. Look at the, the this is the prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. Past wind. The prophet of past wind. Uh Here it says, the prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had slept and have sexual uh, uh, relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. Even his sex was fake. So what is real about him? What is real about Muhammad? Anyone can tell me? His sex is fake. His Quran is fake. He changed his law. He gave a law in the morning. He changed it in the in the second day, sometime afternoon. He claimed that genie, who they are black African, they drawed him. They ride his back. He claimed that his his cousin he ripped him off. You know he uh, make him lose his virginity. You have a child wife, which is a rape. I mean, name one thing about this guy's right. What is left? He married a woman in the age of his mother just for the sake of the money. And then he switched to a wife. She is six years old. And then he taught his men, why you want to marry? A woman, she is not a little kid. Marry, don't marry women, marry kids. Don't marry women. Very sick, you know, very, very sick. This is a prophet of God. He's asking the girl, the guy to marry a little girl. And he's saying to him, why? Why are you... Why are you marry a previously married woman? He's talking about a woman, she is not a virgin. Why do you marry a little child so she can amuse you, play with you? And you play with her. The guy, he said, oh, prophet, uh, my brother or my dad, he left for me seven or eight girls. They are little, little. 
So I choose to marry a woman so she can take care of them, not a girl like them. Do you see the word here? It says a girl like them. It's in front of you. A girl like them. I choose not to marry. You know, I will not bring a girl like them. They are orphans. Anyway, uh, from now on, we knew that if you have a neighbor and he is a Muslim and your wife, his wife, she invites you home, you are safe and secure because the Muslim man, he needs to find four witnesses in order to prove adultery. Otherwise, if he complain, the Muslim, they will beat his back 80 whip for he accused his decent, beautiful Muslim wife falsely. Even if you have two friends with him, seeing it, which means there are three. Like you are you, with the three, you are you are going home with two of your friends. You go in the bedroom, you find your wife doing boom boom. She is a decent woman. There is no proof yet. And even if you have many witnesses and they did not see the penis going in and out, literally, they saw nothing. So they go to the bedroom, they find your wife in the top of the guy or he's in the top and they did not see the penis going in and out. They are not accepted as witnesses. Then here you notice that Muhammad obviously is a fraud. And just because he is trying to avoid the, the disaster his wife Aisha, she did, he created rules which is not accepted by any man. Anyone have a brain for a second. And when you read hadith like this, the man saying to Muhammad, are you saying I shall ask the guy to wait more until I bring more witnesses? You see, Muhammad here, he got a chance to say, oh, no, you got it wrong. He said, yes. The guy is making a mockery. The guy, you can tell he don't accept this. You know, he don't accept that. Are you saying, look, read me. Uh, what do you think if I find with my wife a man should I give him some time until I bring four witnesses what are you thinking like, are you serious Muhammad he said yes how that can be from God And now we you know we will finish and then we will see the comment of the Muslims and you will see how silly it is. No Muslim will be able to answer. They will start talking about Trinity, they will talk about everything, they will talk about Trump, they will talk about uh, anything, anything, but they will not talk about the stupidity of their books and their religion. This is the truth. Any Muhammadan? Anyone have? Uh... Anyway, Muslim, just be careful. Uh, uh, now this hadith is exposed. So your wife, she will tell you from now on, hey, honey, if you come home and you find with somebody, let me show you what the prophet said. You need to find for witnesses. She cannot do anything. You cannot, period. Otherwise, they will whip your back. So in the top of you, your wife being effed by the neighbor. Not only that, but he come with a different rule. Maybe we should talk about it in a different video. That if a man, he slept with your wife and he made your wife have babies from him. Guess what? The baby of that guy, the boyfriend, they will take your money. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? How stupid this religion is? Even if everybody knows that this is not your son, even if you have a proof with the DNA, even if you have any anything, that's it. The one who owned the bed, the child belonged to him. So this is your bed. This is your child. So not only the guy he effed your wife, later he will inherit your money. <laughs> he will take the wife, he will take the money, he will take the kid. What is left for you? <laughs> Is 
say this is fun. <laughs> this is halal fun. You sleep with the with the wife of the guy. You make her, you know, have a children from you, and later the children who they are yours, they will inherit the money of this guy. You come to your son, you say, son, I'm your I'm your father. Well, what are you talking about? My father is Abdul Muhammad uh, Hassan Ali. <laughs> no, look at you. Look at me. Look at the mirror. Huh? And then your son, who inherited the money of this guy, he will give you the money. So now you get the wife. You got the money. You got the house. And the poor husband is being screwed. Young shadow, debate me. Okay, young shadow, here we go. You have in front of you a hadith. Debate, debate me. Go ahead, answer. We are waiting for your comment. You need to find four witnesses before you do anything about your wife. I'm debating you, Mr. Young. You are very young, I can't tell. Who is holding you? Uh, uh, go and answer my calls in Skype. Ah, well, my Skype is not open. However, if you want, we can activate a link. We are using uh, StreamYard. If you want, we can take your call here. Is that what you want? You want to call me? For how long we are here? Because this is StreamYard. They allow us only for two hours live. For, for how long we are here? We have a free account with them, so... I guess we have time. So who is a Muslim when I call me? Let me let me go to the <coughs> setting uh, here. I think private chat. No, uh, invite. I think we go to invite. <coughs> okay, here we go. Uh, right now, we will pause the link. If you are really serious, you want to call me, go ahead. Now we will see the heroes. Shall we? Call me. And now nobody will call. <laughs> Oh. Any Abdul? I know what the answer will be. We don't accept Hadith. We are we are Sunni only. So we have this guy here. Let us see. Go ahead. All right, Mr. Abdullah, go ahead. Hello? I don't hear anything. Hello, 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 can you hear me? Hello, kid. Yo. Speak, speak loud, please. Can you hear me? Huh? Wait, just give me a second. I need to like, pause your stream because it's echoing. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, so regarding this hadith, yeah. Um, so, I mean, your main argument, I mean, what is your argument again? So, basically, you need four witnesses, right? Um, to basically execute the adulterer. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't need four witnesses to, I, I mean, like, there's something called like ta'zir, right? Which is basically where, um, like, you don't need four witnesses. For example, if you have three witnesses or two witnesses, then they can, you know, get a lighter punishment, such as maybe whipping or something. But regarding the stoning, right, regarding, like, you know, executing the adulterer, then you need four witnesses. But you can also have, like, less witnesses um, that you can have, like, a lesser punishment for that. So that's the f first thing, okay? And secondly, you've been talking about so many, like, I don't know, like, private parts and, like, you know, tangling around your ears and stuff. I mean, like, how disgusting are you? Like, you need to go in your Bible and check, like, Ezekiel 2320. Okay, okay, okay. Do you okay, know what okay. Ezekiel 2320 says? Don't use bad language. Don't use bad language. Otherwise, you will find me to hang up on you. Let us have a civil... Bro, you were talking about penises, bro, everywhere. Okay, hold, what are you talking hold, about? Hold don't on, be a hypocrite. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer what Don't be saying. a hypocrite. Let me answer. Let us see who's a hypocrite. So now you are saying that... 
you find your wife sleeping with the guy and you go to the prophet and you say to him, are you saying I should take the man to wait for me until I find four witnesses? This is the question. What is, what is, what is your answer? Yes, yeah, so, so this is specifically about stoning, so adultery. Uh, but you can have like less I'm witnesses. Saying, for, what is the like, answer? Is that, is that... I'll just answer your really... question for a lot of punishment, right? Such as whipping, that's like less than four witnesses. But speak specifically slower. for stoning... Speak, speak slower, speak slower. Bro, it's not my fault your very, brain is so slow, man. I know nervous. you're a donkey. You're very, you're very I'm not nervous, nervous at all. Okay. I'm just speak speaking slower. at a space, okay. at a pace, so right? Where you just can't even understand it because you're... Brain I'm asking is just fried. how you can prove a case of adultery if you need to find four witnesses. You go to your so, wife. You find... uh, again, again, I'll explain it to you again. Hmm. So specifically for adultery, right? If we're going to, you know, stone the adulterer and basically this is the capital punishment, you need four witnesses. Hmm. But if there is cases where there's less than four witnesses, okay, like such as two or three, then a lighter punishment may be, um, you know, uh, the person may receive, such as like lashing or whatever, right? Um, but for stoning specifically, you need four witnesses. So the person actually does get punished, right, for adultery. Um, if he has, you're like, repeating less yourself. Are, are you are you okay? You keep yeah. repeating the same. I'm repeating answer. myself I'm because you can't understand because your brain is so slow. Simply are trying Christian to ignore Prince, the question. Listen, the question, bro. You, you are can, so stupid, you can, man. How you can stop talking like bro, like you have like, like a, a comprehension horse. problem of something? How you can like, find your four brain witnesses? Works like a donkey. Stupid. Listen, Abdul. You're so You're donkey, man. Hey, 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 Abdul, 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 yeah. Shut up. Let me speak, bro. Go in your Bible. Oh. Ezekiel 23, 20. Uh, okay, Why okay, does your God matter? Okay. okay, son of Muta. You know, blah, 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 blah. Listen to the question. The question don't is, mean me. Don't mean me. Why does your God mention you... donkey people? You are a donkey, son of donkey. <clears throat> so listen to this. You want an answer. See, they claim they have answer. You go to your wife, and now you are asking the man to wait until you find four witnesses. I will give him the microphone again. He will not let me talk. How you can prove a case of adultery? Do you go to your home every day with four guys? <laughs> so he screamed loud. He repeat himself, but he never answered the question. So I will put you back again. I will put you back again. Now, here we go. Did you hear the question? You went home. You find your wife being f by a new neighborhood, neighbor guy. And you say to the prophet, are you saying I should ask the guy to stay and wait more so I can find four witnesses? I will give you the microphone. He will never answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Um, yeah, yeah, just ask the question again. So your question is basically like, how do you find like these four witnesses? No, right. this is another question. This is another question. Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask me the question. The question, question is, yeah, a, man, he came, a man, he came to your prophet. He said to him, are you saying I should ask the man to stay longer so I can find a, 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 a find the witnesses? The prophet said yes. Wait, okay. Let, let, so you're talking about this hadith. Like, I'll just read it. Uh, what do you think if I find with my wife a man, should I give him some time until I bring four witnesses? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. what, what about this? Yeah, this is talking about the punishment. Again, I explained it to you. Right, the punishment. No, you did not. Of... You did not. How you no, no, find... yes, I did. I, yes, I did. Because four witnesses is for the punishment of uh, stoning. We know it's for witnesses. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. Speak like a Bro, I asked you a question. If they... Just stupid idiot. You know, you are just a kid. Guys, is that the question? We know it's for witnesses already. This is not the question. This is not the question. The question is he said to the prophet, Are you saying I should ask the guy to stay longer? So I can find for witnesses. So you ask now the guy saying, can you please, if the wife, please more, please don't stop. Please, because I need to go and find for witnesses. So we ask you the question for the last time. And you keep repeating your stupid answer again and again. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. It's for the four witnesses. Yeah, we know in the case of adultery for witnesses. Yeah, we know, we know. This is not the question, you idiot. And not only you have to have four witnesses, you have to have four witnesses who see the penis going in and out. How that can be possible? But let us focus with the first one. Are you going to say to the guy who is if in your wife in the moment, please, can you do it longer? Because I need to go and fight for witnesses. This is the question. How legitimate Islam is with this? Go ahead. Are you going to start like, are you going to stop remo removing me and like just muting me? Because you can't like actually um, deal with give the you, answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Yeah, I gave you the answer. 
Yeah, so, so okay. basically for four witnesses is for executing the adultra and less is not for executing the adultra. So you can like, you know, whip the adultra. So that's the punishment. I just get lost. Guys, is that the question I'm asking? Is that the answer I'm asking? We know for witnesses you don't care. How many times I need to repeat? But because they knew this is an embarrassment, the hadith we see is a big embarrassment. He kept repeating, yeah, we know for witnesses. For this is not the question, you idiot. The question is, the question is, I repeat for the last time, you will ask the man to wait and if your wife longer until you find four witnesses so they can witness the guy if in your wife. How that can be possible? The guy will leave. Nobody will wait. <laughs> and not only that, even if you get the four witnesses with you, they have to see the penis going in and out. How you can do that? If your wife wearing a skirt, sitting in the top of the guy, that is impossible. And if they pull out, excuse my language, then there is no proof. It's impossible. I will put you back again and you will not answer. So let me repeat again. Are you saying, Mr. Abdullah, you see your wife in the bed being effed by a, a guy. You ask the guy to eff your wife longer so you can find, you can have enough time to find four witnesses. This is the question. Go ahead. For like whipping himself. Are you going to like stop remo removing me? Like seriously, like, come on. <laughs> this is just like really sad. Go ahead. And, and like, why do you keep on talking about penises and stuff? Like, do you like get this from your Bible, Ezekiel 23, 20, where it says, okay. they actually lost okay. off her okay. love. Can, can but, like, we can, we can switch. Okay, son of Mata, you want to change topic because you're ashamed. You want to talk about penises? We can. Your prophet, he promised you endless penis in heaven. Your prophet, he spoke about the penis of Abraham, spoke about the penis of, Mo of Moses, and he spoke about his penis. But we can switch after you answer. You are just a coward. You are trying to avoid the embarrassment. So let me repeat the question for the last time. Otherwise, I will, I will block you. People be my witness. How many times I repeat the question? Are you willing to say, I'm going to beg the one who is effing your wife, Abdullah, to stay longer if in her so you can find witnesses. Listen again. Are you willing to say, yes, I don't mind. I will ask the guy who's if in the wife, your wife, Abdullah, to stay if in her longer until you find more witnesses. Do you agree with that? Go ahead. Okay, let me read. Uh, what do you think if I find with my wife, uh, my wife and man? What does it say effing anywhere in the hadith? What does it say? Uh, I mean, Abdul. like, they could just be touching over each other and not, Abdul. you know, doing sexual Abdul. Abdul. Show me where it says effing. Show me where it says effing, lost. please. Just get lost. Now you are reading the hadith. How many times you read the hadith already? Now you are reading it? This is the fourth, fifth time you are reading the hadith. <laughs> and this guy went to refute me. And talking about penises, isn't your prophet? He speak about the size of the penis in heaven. He says, Allah will give you a penis, will be endless like, like a palm tree, and the vagina will be fitting for that. Let us see, different person. Hello? <coughs> anyway, go another idiot. <laughs> a donkey. <laughs> he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. All right. So do you see how stupid they are? He they speak so fast because they are trying to avoid answering anything. <laughs> okay, we know that there are four witnesses. First of all, how in the world you can get four witnesses? The story of Al Mughira ibn Shuaba, they found the women. Here is four witnesses. One of them, he did not see the penis going in, he saw the legs of the women around his neck. Omar, he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> and he did beat the hell of them. <laughs> Three witnesses, they saw the penis going in and in, out. Number four, here we go, we have four witnesses now, and they are naked. The man and the women, they are naked. And number four, he did not see the penis. He saw her legs, her feet specifically, around his neck. And he described them, they were shaking and they were looking like ears of a donkey. Omar, he did beat the hell of them. Why? Because there is no enough proof. 
how in the world that can be from God? Huh? I found her legs around her feet, around his neck like ears of donkeys. And now we have four witnesses. But because one of them did not see the penis going in, how in the world you can get that? Are you making a porn movie? So you have four cameras in four you know, points of recording and there are witnesses. Or what the man need to do, he hear a voice, he hear a sound coming from the door. He just take off. He take off his penis. That's it. He don't need even to put his clothes on. There's no adultery. There's no proof. Or what they saw, a naked woman, naked man. Even if they are kissing, this is called lemon. Lemon is nothing. There's no punishment in Islam for lemon. So we give him a chance, once after once after once, and now he want to talk about Ezekiel, he want to talk about a penis. Even that one is not about a penis. You are the penis. The ambassador of Pakistan, which they sent to Saudi Arabia, his name, he was rejected by Saudi Arabia because his name is the biggest penis. You talk about donkey, your prophet, his wife, Zainab, she is Zainab, the daughter of the donkey, Jash. You talk about dogs, your prophet, his last name is dogs. And you claim that you can refute me, here we go. We keep repeating the question a thousand times. This is a very filthy man, his name is Muhammad. He created a new law for the sake of four witnesses. This is the guy who wanna refute me. He changed the topic in the speed of light. He kept repeating himself, he never answered a question. And he claimed he have refutation. Leave your comment, Abdullah, so we can laugh later. You have to ask a guy to F your wife longer so he can enjoy her longer until you find a new witnesses. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? I, I've been a fan of you for a really long time, by the way. I really like your stuff. Um, yeah, but personally, you see... I'm a cock, so I... Okay. Well, you are what you are, obviously. You describe yourself perfectly. All right. Hello? Yo, so can I ask you a question, Raka? What does it say sex anywhere here? Well, just, just show well, me more. You're well, making this up. You... Show me where it says sex in the hadith. Show me where it says sex in the hadith. Show me. Oh, it doesn't yeah, say yeah, sex. You can't argue, yeah? You can't argue. You can't okay, argue, you can't even defend here. your own Bible. Okay, hold, I showed you donkey penises in your Bible, hold Ezekiel 2320. Why okay, are you avoiding on, it? Why okay, are you avoiding it, huh? Son of Mada. Hmm. He's crying. <laughs> Guys, where in the hadith it says sex? <laughs> he found the solution. In the hadith, it doesn't say sex. It says, I find my wife with a man. I found with my wife a man. He is saying it doesn't say sex. A A A Abraham, uh, Abdullah. So according to your understanding, the guy, he meant what? Go ahead. Abdul, yes, I there. mean, like, like many things, such, such as like kissing, right? Or the person could be, you know, hugging or just doing something like that is not sex. What does it say sex? So, like you're just, okay, hold you're on. Okay, oh, your oh, own, like, oh, 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 okay. You're just so, presupposing so, it. So you're honestly, it. And why okay, can't you so, defend your own Bible? Uh, the, the guy is a talking machine. He's a, you know, listen, you just say it. If somebody having a daughter, you idiot, when you call me first time, we need four witnesses. So it's about sex, you donkey. Answer. It is that, like, yeah, sure. But what does it say in the hadith? It mentions sex. I just read the hadith, right? It, it says, doesn't even mention it, sex anywhere. It says, it says, it says, what does it say, for sex? witnesses. Show, show me where it says you sex. do not need, you what do not need for sex? witnesses. Stop talking, coward. It doesn't say, it doesn't say they are just kissing. I find a man with my wife, and this is about adultery, and this is why you need for witnesses. Only in the case of sex adultery, you need for witnesses. And you are the one who said that. You forgot? Go ahead. Add me back. Yeah, yeah, no, don't yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Could you please add me back? Yeah. Um. So basically, wait, just give me a okay. second. Uh huh. Yeah. So again, I explained you. I explained to you the ruling. Okay. But this hadith doesn't even mention sex at all. So what's your point? 
No, you mention yourself that in other you hadiths, yeah, mentions you mentioned, yeah, sex, no, 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 yeah, hold on, let me let me talk, let me talk. Show me where it says sex. Stop, can you stop like diverting, fast. right? Like, come on, stop show me where it says sex. Stop show me where it says sex. Me. Let us yeah, I know you can't comprehend my like, yeah, stupid. This, this guy is mentally, mentally ill, obviously. It's in the case of adultery only, you need four witnesses, your donkey. You said that. Everybody heard you. You repeated that many times. You said, yes, yes, yes. In the case of adultery, we need four witnesses. We know that. So this adultery in Islam is not kissing. <laughs> you claim to be a Muslim. So let me give you the mic back. Maybe you will speak like a man finally. In Islam, you do not need four witnesses for a kiss. You need four witnesses for intercourse. And you are the one who said that. You said in the case of adultery, adultery in Islam is not, not kissing. Adultery in Islam is a thing. The mic is yours. Yeah, okay. So oh. I explained to you I explained to you the ruling, okay, of no. four witnesses. You said there's no sex. Before the person gets you said you said there's no sex. You said it doesn't say sex. I never said but kissing is also adultery either. Huh? But why does it mention adultery here in the hadith? Show me where it mentions like adultery in the hadith or sex. So why he's asking? He's asking for, for he's asking for for witnesses, correct? Okay. Yeah. And okay. Show for me where witnesses. Sex. Is, isn't it you in Islam? Who's no. So show me where it says sex. You. you show okay, me. Just be. Just guess. Just be stupid. You know? Okay. Just, don't. Just go. <laughs> show me where it says sex. <laughs> no, it doesn't say sex. He was playing chess with your wife. He was playing, play, play, playing domino with his her breast. Oh, maybe he was doing a breastfeeding for adult. You never know. Show me where it says sex, guys. Just, I mean, this is stupid. He just agreed that in the case of adultery, you need four witnesses. He said that. And now he is saying where it says sex. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's not, you know, he, the guy, he found the guy with the wife. He, she was doing, the, you know, a play hide and seek, you know. He hired his penis inside her. Now you have the time. You have the time to seek it. <laughs> and this is the guy who can refute me. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? Oh man. Yeah. So my friend, those people they are really weird. And uh, in order to try to refute something, they come with a stupidity. What is the answer? Are you going to answer? Yeah, so I came up here to discuss your Bible, but you just want to, you know, stick to the hadith and stuff. And I explained to you, but okay, you, you're you know, not just because you're not no, satisfied you, with the explanation doesn't mean it's wrong. You, no, okay. I'm not. I'm not. This is not about satisfying. You are. You are ignoring the so, question. So why can't you defend you, your own Bible? You, you why? say it. You say it. Why you can't you defend it. your own Bible? I came here to discuss the Bible. Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, you want to change topic? No, I don't want to, bro. Like, I came up here to discuss the Bible, but you're the one okay. who like pressed oh, me on this topic, okay. and I explained so you to you. Say, I dealt with okay. it. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then okay. you started okay. mentioning donkey penises. Hold on, and hold on, hold on. So hold your Bible on. says it. Why hold does on. your Bible mention donkey penises? How? how hold do you mention? On. Do you agree with Do you agree with your Quran or you don't? Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Does the Quran approve the the book of the Jews? Oh, you're changing topics now. You're saying I was changing topics, and now you're no, changing we are, topics. We are not, oh we my days, bro! That's so funny. That's that's not, really funny. That's a, that's hypocrisy. I want to see. I you're saying see I'm changing topics, but you're you we're here talking about. Speak, how do you stop, go from the book of stop, the Jews to like uh, from donkey penises to book of? Shut up. This is the Quran saying confirming what is with them. So the question now for you, you change the topic, we switch, no problem. If I answer you from my book, you will say, I don't accept your book anyway. So I, what I do, I get Muhammad and Basta, that's what I do. And then when come to them, to the Jews, a book between two brackets, the Quran from Allah, confirming what is with them. Now I will give you the microphone back. Why Allah confirming the book of the Jews if the book is bad? Go ahead. What? Yeah, so this is referring to the Injil. Uh, I mean, we're the Jews, okay? This is referring to the Torah, okay? But now we don't have the no. Torah. No. Oh, so I will do the game you play with me, where it says the Torah. You said to me a second ago, where it says sex. I will play the same game you play. 
just to show you how stupid you are, where it says Torah in the verse. Go ahead. In verse 89. What? In, in verse where? 89. Okay, show me the word that says Torah. Where is the Torah? And when there came to them, the Jews, okay, a book. So this is referring to... Um, well, let me read again. And when, they, uh, and when there came to them, the Jews, a book, this Quran from Allah Azza wa Jal, confirming what is with them, the Torah, right, the Torah, okay, it, mm. it mentions the Torah in brackets. Mm. And this is referring to Torah as well. You can look at the tafsir. So, I mean, okay. just because yes, it doesn't mention Adul. something expo Adul, explicitly. Where, doesn't it mean, says, where it says also, Torah. Where it says Torah. Torah. Uh, it doesn't say explicitly, but yeah, it's referring okay. to the Torah. So, right? so it says, confirming what is with them, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's me whatever. I, I, and could you actually answer your Bible like Ezekiel twenty three twenty? I'm okay, like listen, I'm, ask, to, I'm like, answering you. About to say. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Yeah. Answer Ezekiel, Ezekiel twenty three twenty. Yeah. Answer. Ezekiel. Is just shut up. Ezekiel is with them. It says confirming what is with them. So you're stupid. Your Quran got you busted. The Quran confirmed every story with the Jews. The mic is yours. Dude, just stop! Like, <laughs> this is so hilarious, man. You're, you know, saying that Does I'm changing topics, but now you're changing topics. And why do you keep removing me? Are you that scared to hear my response? Because why can't you, you just are, answer Ezekiel twenty three twenty? It says, "There she lost it after." Uh, you, you scream, you loud, you know. I don't want. Okay, just get it out. You're just a kid. It says, "Confirming what is with them." So how is stupid your God to confirm whatever with them? What if we have with them things is bad? Your prophet do not know how to read Hebrew. He do not know how to read even Arabic. How he confirm it? Blindly. So you Muslims, when you make fun of stories written in the Old Testament, in fact, you are making fun of yourself. Because either you are a donkey or your prophet is the donkey. If Muhammad is saying confirming what is with them, and then you make fun of what is with them, who is the donkey here? Obviously, both of you. Because Muhammad cannot read their book. You yourself cannot read their book. Your God cannot read their book. And obviously you never read their book. And then you make fun of their book. And then you claim that the book of the Jews is changed and corrupted when the Quran is saying, confirming what is with them. And in the same time, you need to ask yourself how you can confirm without reading. Correct, guys? That means all the Jews at that time, at least, they have one book and there's no change in it. And that means Muhammad is not needed because Muhammad, the Muslim, they claim, oh, the Christian, they corrupt their book. The Jews corrupt their book. So there's why Allah, he need to send the prophet to fix it, to fix the problem. But as you see, the Quran confirmed what is with them. Not just a page. He confirmed everything with them. Okay, let us see. Hello? <laughs> Another turkey. Very filthy. As you see, Islam is really a stupid cult. In one hand, they make fun of your book. In the other hand, their book comes from your book. And the second you show them from their book, they wash their hand from their book. Now, if this is a hadith, they will say, oh, they play with the game of da'if and strong. But this is Quran. How they can say it's da'if? They cannot. And the funny is, the funny is, uh, uh, somebody saying Ezekiel is not the Torah, doesn't matter. The Quran confirm what is with them. Read, guys, listen carefully what I say. It says, confirming what is with them. Anything with them. Even the Talmud. Even the evil book of Talmud. Confirming what is with them. In the translation here, they are adding words is not in the verse. You ask yourself, is Allah is a smart God or a stupid God? He says, confirming what is with them, not a name of a book. 
if I confirm what is with you, that's mean whatever you have with you is confirmed. If I say I confirm the Torah, that's mean I'm saying the Torah, the rest I don't care for them. We as a Christian, we don't accept all the books of the Jews. We don't. We don't accept the books of rabbis. We accept books which is accepted by the Jews to be a part of their holy book. Even the Jews themselves, they don't accept the Talmud to be a holy book. It's not. So, when the Quran speaks about something, and the Muslim they claim that this is a pure, clear Arabic, and then we find that this Arabic is very stupid, and then this guy who do not know Hebrew, he confirmed what is with them, but yet he cannot read what is with them. And there's tons of verses the Muslims they have, which is really an embarrassment for them. And as you see, they change topic in the speed of light, but wherever they go, we can beat them so easy. Where it says sex. <laughs> the smart Abdul, he said, where it says sex. <laughs> Maybe they are kissing. But, but you are the one who said when you call me, yeah, this is for the case of adultery, we need for witnesses. <laughs> So how come the word sex did not come to your mind in the beginning? I found a man with my wife. It doesn't say sex. Yeah, your wife, she is a charity. She is doing breastfeeding for adult. Now, if we ask him, is it okay if a man, if you go inside the house and you find your wife giving her boobs to a stranger, he will say yes. It's legal. Halal. <laughs> It is a very conservative religion, my friend. Very, very, extremely very. Uh, do we have any Muslim here? We have Yusuf Dawood saying, Christianity is a very barbaric, Christians are very barbaric people. Yet when you run for your life, you come to the Christian, you don't go to Erdogan, you don't go to Somalia, you don't go to Saudi Arabia, you come to us. And this is telling us how hypocrite you are. Muta boy. If we are barbaric, then why your stupid Quran says we are the best people ever when it's come to kindness? Did your Quran say that, you stupid? Are you against the Quran? Are you saying, Mr. Yusuf Dawood, are you saying that your God did wrong by saying that? What Mr. Dawood will say now? Now he will stop talking, he will change topic. What if I show you a verse in the Quran saying that we are the nice people, the nicest to the Muslims ever? Hmm? Now he will change the topic. He will, he will right away, he will say, let me talk about Trinity, okay? Let us talk about Trinity. And uh, we don't want to talk about this. This is your stupid book in front of you. It's you who said we are the barbaric. So why are you stupid? God says the most nicest people to the people of the, 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 the Islam, they are the one who call themselves they are Christians. Do you see it? If you don't like this translation, we change it for you, Abdul. You are a coward. You are a potato. You are a hypocrite. You go against even your Quran just to make a false point. No dignity, no honesty, no religion, no God. Muslims are not godly people. They have no God. Their God is Satan. Because either you agree with the Quran or you don't agree with the Quran. Do you agree with the Quran? He will say, yes, I agree with the Quran. But a second ago, you said Christians are barbaric. Are they? Then if they are barbaric and your God says the opposite, that means we found a mistake in the Quran. Thank you very much, Mr. Yusuf. Uh, and this is Yusuf Ali translation. Let me show you Yusuf Ali translation. And now you will say, I don't accept translation. Let us read it in English, in Arabic then. No problem. Hmm? It says here, uh, the believers will find those who say we are Christians. They find them what? They will find them they are the nearest, the nicest. They love. Do you see it? Did you see it? And the nearest among them, in love to the believers, those who call themselves Christians. Do you see it? Now Yusuf, he will deny what he said. It's too late. It's in the screen.
this man is going against himself? No, you are the one going against Allah. You said Christians are barbaric. <laughs> and look who is talking. A follower of a man, he used three rocks to clean his ass. Talking about barbaric. A man who is following a man who jump in a water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period. And he talk about barbaric. I mean, how barbaric you are. What barbaric mean, by the way? Hmm? This is a prophet of God. When he decided to get clean, not dirty, by the way, he jump in the water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage, is stinking things in it, brother. MashaAllah, man, Rabbi Amar. Your prophet must be a true prophet. Who can do that except a true prophet? Only true prophet do that. Hey, Yusuf, why you don't make a video, you and the Muslims, as a challenge? You know, like you see in TikTok challenge, like George Bush, he put uh, uh, ice on him to support cancer, whatever. I want you to support your prophet for the cause of your prophet. Take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage in a jacuzzi. Follow the steps of your prophet. Can you do that? Hey, people, do you think one Muslim, he dare to follow his prophet's steps? Hmm? They will not. Yusuf Dawood is laughing at his prophet now. Look, mashallah, it's mashallah, mash potato. He's laughing. Look, look, look how much they respect their prophet. Their prophet is literally taking shower with shit. And uh, Muhammad is laughing. Muhammad. Hmm. No comment. Let us see. I think this is the same guy. He is just playing games, but it's okay, just for fun. Hello? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, so you mentioned about like dead dogs and stuff, but I just want you to like address your own Bible, Ezekiel 4.12. It mentions, and you shall eat the... Uh, okay, and you shall eat, because you shall eat shit. Aren't you eating shit already? Isn't your prophet he ordered you to drink camel urine just to be healed? This is about people, they will struggle, but they don't eat shit, you stupid. They cook in it. If I go right now and I search for Bangladesh, what people of Bangladesh they do? They kick on shit, they cook in shit. They use shit to cook on it. This is what it says. You're just a stupid idiot. You're just a kid. By the way, the time you are talking to me, are you sure there's nobody now at your home sleeping with your wife? And he is not doing adultery. He is just because the hadith doesn't say sex. <laughs> I mean, look what they come with. Very stupid, you know. Uh, you know, your prophet, he ate everything. He ate lizard. He ate, he ate shit, literally. He, drink, he ordered you to drink camel urine. You Muslim, you drank his piss. You drank the piss of Muhammad. So when a Muslim, he read from the Old Testament, this is a prophecy about how much suffering they will have. They will use dunk to cook on it. They will make... When you make food, when you make bread, you will use shit. This is how bad it is. And this is true. And until now, in Islamic countries, they do that. If I go right now and search, I will do it in the front of you. I will go to Islamic countries, not to Christian countries. And I will search for... Uh, let's see. Dunk fuel. You can search it. I'm not going to show it. You search for it. Dunk fuel, Bangladesh. Hmm? You will see. They use the leash. That's what that says. They use shit. Huh? And what, what is the reason they use it? Because simply, uh, you know, uh, people struggle. They use anything to survive. Not because they are bad people. And those are Muslims. So what you will say now? You will say they are bad. This is true. This is reality. Hmm. 
I can post links for you. Let me post this link here. And you know, people, they can, you can open and you can read yourself and you will see that people really use shit to cook on it. But as you know, the, 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 the Jews, they are forbidden even to eat camel uh, meat. They are very, very conservative about what to eat. You is the one who eats shit and drinks shit. Camel urine is a shit. It's just a liquid shit. Open and see uh, how people they live in many Islamic countries. They use shit for you know surviving. So your argument is very stupid, and that will not change anything about your prophet is being a pervert. And just because he want to protect his wife from being the accu accused of you know adultery, he is coming with a satanic uh, reasoning to avoid the embarrassment of his wife sleeping around. Very simple. Uh, if we ask this guy now, he's talking about shit. Do you really wash yourself in such a water, Abdullah? Go ahead. No, could you just like stop removing me? Like this is what you do all days, like like your fans, yeah, they're saying, Oh Abdul, you're too scared to debate CP. And look what you're doing right now, you're literally muting me and stuff. Like you're so you're too scared, right? You're too scared to go on other people's panels, right? So you how get other people here, so you can mute them. And, and could you how answer this question, right? Just how answer the question. Times? Just stop muting times? me, right? Many, stop muting me and stop changing the subject. How many, how many Ezekiel 2320. Address it. You who uh, address it, please. Topic. Address it. I wasn't the one who you. changed the topic. I, I, you were the I one am? who changed the topic. You're talking I about am? like Jews' book. You went from adultery to listen, Jews' listen. book. That's changing the topic. Listen, listen. Answer the question. Okay. Ezekiel 2320. Answer it. Okay, Answer okay it. listen. Address it. Okay. Is, is it Ezekiel Why don't you go talk about people's donkey penises? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, address it. Address can it. you promise me? Can you promise me that you finish answering me and I will answer you? Uh, address this first, and then I'll answer what you have to say. No, you did not answer. I asked you no, about. No, address this man. first, and then I'll address anything that you no, say. You again. No, you did not. I say. No, this I will. I will. What do you mean? I did not. I just said if you address this, then I'll address anything that you have to say. No, you after. said. You said. You said. You said. This is not. Doesn't say sex. Bro, just address this. Like, stop changing the topic, okay? Address okay, this. I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest with me. Address does it, address the it. hadith does the hadith speak about sex or not? Is it talking about sex? Uh, pull it up again. Let me see. What uh, to see it? Now you want to see it? How many times you need to see it? Uh, I have to see it. Yeah, <laughs> let me see it. What do you mean you need to see it? How many times you did read it already? What's wrong with you? Just just go go. You are just a kid, man. You are wasting my time. Guys, now he want to see it. So all this time you were answering, did not see it? So when you give me the question, the answer first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, you did not see it yet? When you said to me, it doesn't say sex, you did not see it? You said to me, where in the Hadith says sex? Do you see how we and why we love at this religion? When a Muslim he speaks about the book of Ezekiel, this is about the nation of Israel, two cities in Israel. This is not about women. They are going with the pagan. The pagan paganism is taking over them. This is not about sex. What about you open and read interpretation? You will see this is not about sex. However, even if it's about, it's against the Jews. It's condemning their behavior. But there's no two women. Their name is uh, uh, this and that. Those women are never exist. Those are two cities. And those two cities are following paganism. That's all. However, your religion is religion of adultery and fornication. As you see, the prophet himself, he went to his own wife bed. He slept with the maid. And then he made an excuse saying, why you are forbidden yourself from having sex with the maid? But there's nowhere in the Quran that says you can have sex with the maid. So, Abdullah, are you going to answer or you will play the same game?
Go. Bro, you hold that? You alright? He fingered his fucking butthole and, and then his asshole held. <laughs> Change your medication, I'll do it. <laughs> you see how I drive them crazy? Change your medication, man. Not only your voice is annoying, you are stupid and you need medication. Oh boy. <laughs> Everybody knows that in the case of adultery, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, the punishment is death. Death. And there is a specific cases. In your religion, we cannot find the punishment. Where is the punishment? Where is the stoning to death? The Muslim, they say the Quran is preserved. But we know that the Quran used to have verses which Muhammad, he stole, obviously, from the Jews. But we cannot find them, can we? Nowhere to be found. Why? Because a, a, a goat ate them. Let us find the hadith. Here we go. The verse of his stoning and breastfeeding for other world, ten times revealed. Should I put a porn picture now on the screen? A woman giving her breast. Abdullah, he go home. He find his neighbor laying down in over his chest of the, his wife or his wives, and he is playing with their boobs and suckle them. This is halal in Islam. It's called a breastfeeding for a goat. Aisha, she ordered her sisters to do it. However, here it says that those verses, they used to be in the Quran, and then a goat ate them. But every single Muhammadan claim that the Quran is totally preserved. So my challenge to those who want to change topic, no problem. What is the punishment of adultery in the Quran? married women if you say to me we cannot find it in the Quran this means you cannot find it anywhere because if it cannot be found in the Quran yet it's found in the Hadith that is even more horrible because since when the Hadith became the Quran ah I forgot the Muslim they have Hadith Quran <laughs> and I believe actually it's not the God who ate those verses I believe the Muhammadan they ate them because it's an embarrassment because think about it, if the goat ate the verse, but the goat ate paper, did not eat the memory of every Muslim. Don't the Muslim they say we memorize the Quran? Okay, who is a Muslim of you memorize the verse of a breast feeding for adult? Who can tell me what is the breast feeding for adult verses? So it is not the goat who ate the verse. It is you, Muslim, who ate it. You decide to delete it from the Quran because it is an embarrassment for you. This is the truth. Right? Uh, all right. I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time, guys? And as you see, we are using StreamYard, but StreamYard, you give us like a free time of two, two hours. So almost I am out of the two hours. This is 1.59 minute. So I have to say to you goodbye and thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment before our two minutes is over. God bless you. Leave a comment, share the link and make it 20,000 so we can come back soon. 20,000. Remember, let us do it. Let us do it. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care.